Hello, this video is going to show how to do a difference of means test using IBM SPSS. And first of all, we should say when we use this. Uh, when we have two groups we're comparing, and we want to know if their mean scores are different, this is the appropriate test. If we have multiple groups, we have to use something called an analysis of variance or ANOVA. All right, so it's a pretty limited test, but it has its place. So what we're going to do is we're going to look and see if there are differences between men and women in terms of their mean age within a sample. All right, And I am dealing here with the General Social Survey, the GSS, which you may download from the National Opinion Research Council. If you Google that, you should find it. And we're going to be coming up here to analyze and looking for something called compare means. Here you see there are different uh, types of tests. One sample just tells you whether or not the mean can be generalized to the wider population. So if you were just to do that with age, then you know we would see whether or not it was generalizable. Uh, and it is, so we won't bother with that. Uh, there are two types of means tests. One is a paired sample. Let's say we have a before and after test of the same people for an experiment. That would be the appropriate one here. But we are not doing that. We're comparing men and women, which are independent samples, for their average ages. So independent samples, t-test, is the appropriate choice. Uh, and we're not dealing with proportions here. We're dealing with means. Proportions work when we're doing analyses of categorical variables. So we're going to display variable names in an alphabetical order. We're going to go to age and make that the test variable. And then we're going to come down and find the sex variable as our grouping variable. And it's already identified group 1 and 2 appropriately, so we can continue. And we can click OK. Here's our results. So the group statistics, we have, uh, sorry, I had a filter on, uh, so I have a subsample of the data. <laughs> Let me uh, fix that. Data, select cases, all cases. OK, let's redo that. Let me close. You close your output in SPSS. It's a nice way to reset things. Of course, don't do that if you're trying to save what you've done previously. <laughs> but. It's not a bad way to reset the clock. So analyze, compare means, independent sample t-test. That's all still correct. Let's click OK. All right, so we have 1,629 males with a mean age of 53. All right, and we have 2,058 females with a mean age of 51.59. So the males in the sample are slightly older than the females in the sample. Uh, but when we're doing a statistical significance test, the question isn't whether or not there's a difference in the sample. The question is whether or not we can infer that same difference exists in the wider population. Okay, and that's the whole, any kind of statistical significance test is designed to answer the question, can we generalize from the sample to the population? So we come down here and we can see here's our t-score, our calculated t-score with our degrees of freedom. And uh, the mean difference, 1.406. And our one-sided p-value here uh, is a 0 0.007. Two-sided is 0 0.014. So if our critical value is 0 0.05, which is associated with a 95% confidence interval, then we say, yes, it is a statistically significant difference. And uh, that may be surprising, because the difference is so small in the sample, but we also have a large sample. So the larger your sample, the more likely you are to achieve statistical significance, which means you can infer from differences in the sample to being differences in the wider population of the United States in this case, since the General Social Survey has a random sample of adults from the United States. So that's what we mean when we say population. But you know, we're using about three to 4,000 people to estimate the adult population of the United States, which is you know, 280 million people or so. So it's a big leap. It's a big inference. Right? But we can confidently do so. Right? 
even at the 99% level, uh, if we're looking at the one-sided. Uh, you know, if we had a hypothesis where we expected males to be larger than females, older than females, rather. All right, so that's all there is to it. Some of this other stuff, uh, F, F is the ANOVA statistic, and that's what we would use if we were comparing multiple groups. Um, so that's, that's another video. <laughs> Thanks.